there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. It's one of the world's most important Muslim nations. A nuclear power, ally to the West in the war against terror, and a democracy. But Pakistan is also a country in denial, turning a blind eye to the sexual exploitation of many thousands of poor and vulnerable children. It's one of the most sad and shameful aspects of our society. I have to say I'm totally embarrassed by this, that we have not really been able to protect them. It's going on everywhere, in the big cities or small cities or towns, everywhere this is happening. It's estimated that over four million children across Pakistan are forced to work from an early age due to poverty. Of these, up to one and a half million live on the streets with no home to go to. For the poorest kids in Peshawar, often the only source of income is picking garbage from gutters and waste dumps for recycling working up to 14 hours a day for a pittance. <laughs> Playing in a dirty, polluted canal might seem danger enough. But for boys like Akib and his friends, there are other hazards they must face every day. The man speaking with the boys is social worker Afzal Shah, one of the very few people trying to protect the street children of Peshawar. Assalamu alaikum. 
کتاب پناشی من دیر آب ولی باشه. حالتا ما سر بلارشی ایمو حالتا تا سودا پارا سنتر دا تا با خیال افزاد کو حالتا تا با خیال ساتو. The center gives a small number of boys the chance to rest and eat a little food, usually just bread in a watery sauce. But there are 5,000 street children in Peshawar alone, most with nowhere to go. 13-year-old Naeem is grateful for even the little protection the shelter provides. <laughs> इस नशे से इस गंदा जगह से उठाते उधर अपना जगह पर रखते आई अब इसका इफाजत कर रहे But Afzal's daycare center is just that funded by charitable donations there's little money and most kids have to leave and fend for themselves at night With nowhere to sleep Many hang around the city's main bus terminal, where beds are laid out in the open each evening for drivers to catch some sleep between journeys. This makeshift hostel is run by Hassan Dean. <laughs> मतलब but as we later discover, there's more to Hassan Dean than he cares to admit. Naeem, whom we met at Afsal's day center, comes here when there's nowhere else to go. Idar me charpai pe soya tha, char bandho ne mujhe pakda, gadi me bitta hai. एक वो गाड़ी का ड्राइवर था और तीन पोर्टर था तो उधर चारों ने मेरे साथ ज्यादती किया उसके बाद मैं मेरे खून भी निकला था मैं भी ओझ भी था They're a colorful sight on the roads of Pakistan, brightly decorated by their owners, depicting historical heroes. <laughs> Trucks and buses are the lifeblood of the Pakistan economy, and Peshawar, just 40 minutes' drive from the Afghan border, is a key transport hub for Central and Southern Asia. But behind the color lies another story, in towns and cities across Pakistan, much of the sexual abuse of street boys takes place at bus and truck terminals. So, bus is there. Mahol no hoya ki thi. Thik nahi hai. Sare achhe log kam hai. Burai wale bol. कि इधर घर के जो हैं दस आदमी होंगे बाकी नब्बे जो हैं ना ये अड्डे की पैदावार है सारी छोटे-छोटे घर से आएं तो इन्होंने अपने साथ तो उनको लगा लिया काम पे When darkness falls, hostel owner Hassan Dean provides an extra service. 
आपके पास कभी लोग आते हैं पूछने के भाई तुम बच्चे हमारे लिए तैयार कर सकते हो जी अक्सर आते रहते हैं ऐसे होते हैं कि डोर बस होते हैं उन कहते हैं कि यार ठीक है मैं आपसे चरपाई लेता हूँ मतलब सौ पचास आपको ज़्यादा देता हूँ मुझे कोई लड़का पैदा करके दो सर बच्चा ऐसा होता है कि मतलब विकला घूम रहा होता है तो उनको हम कहते हैं कि मतलब आपको जगह हम देंगे आप हमारे पास आ जाए आपको खाना पीना हम देंगे तो मतलब यहाँ उनको इस बहाने पर ले आते हैं आगे मतलब तो उसकी मजबूरी होती है जी He also admits to using boys for himself. दो दफा सिर्फ किया बस. दो दफा क्या किया? मतलब ये ही बच्चों के साथ है. अच्छा दो दफा. फिर उससे बाद नफरत होगी. हाँ. फिर उससे बाद नफरत. कितने उम्र थी बच्चों की? बस थे एक आठ साल का था और एक मतलब दस ग्यारह साल का. आपने क्या उनके साथ किया? मतलब उन्होंने पैसे मांगे मैंने उनको कहा कि पैसे नह तो उन्होंने क्या कहा चलो चरपाई दे दो तो मैंने उनको चरपाई दे दिए दोनों पाई थे तो दोनों ने कहा कि हमें पचास पचास रुपए भी दो मैंने दे दिए दोनों को और तुमने उनके साथ क्या जना किया जी जना At bus and truck terminals across Pakistan, drivers and conductors often keep boys on a permanent basis as helpers or apprentices. There is a culture to have a small child with you, go along with, and it means that the child is kept as a prostitute or as a partner, sexual partner. Human rights lawyer Zia Awan has fought for the rights of abused children for most of his working life. Hundreds of children who are being raped every day. They are being sold. They are being trafficked. They are being uh, forced for prostitution. It's going on everywhere, and people don't believe. And when we say something, they say that civil society is exaggerating. We are not exaggerating. Denial. It's a taboo subject, but in recent times, articles have finally begun to appear in Pakistani newspapers. Highlighting cases of child abuse, but Zia Awan claims the problem is hugely underestimated. We are every day listening to children who are being abused, who are on the street or in the school or wherever they are, or in the home settings. So these are tip of the iceberg which is being reported in the media. In one survey carried out by a children's charity. 95% of truck drivers admitted that having sex with boys was their main entertainment. And some local surveys have estimated that 9 out of every 10 street kids have been abused. If accurate, that puts the figure on a national scale in the hundreds of thousands. कोई गाड़ी वाले को सो उसको साथ लगा लेते हैं गाड़ी वाला तो बस ऐसे ही बस उनकी जिंदगी गुजरती रहती है छोटे होते हैं बच्चे हाँ जी छोटे बच्चे क्या उम्र होती है उनकी तकरीबन ये बारह साल दस साल हाँ ये खतरा उनके लिए ये है कि बस वो वो तो ना समझे मासूम है आपको जो कंडक्टर हैं उन्हें लड़के रखेगा हाँ जी बस ये लड़के तो इधर डेली मिलते हैं जी आज डिप्टी किए और तो अगर वो शाम कल नहीं आएगा तो शाम को मुझे बोल देगा कि उस साथ कल मैं नहीं आऊँगा तो अपने लिए वो लड़के का बंदोबस्त करना हाँ मुझे बताया था कि कोई वाकया हुआ था वो इस तरह का हुआ था कि वो बचा गया और बस सब ने काम किया था इनके साथ ह वो बस ये जंसी ख्वाहिश थी उनकी और उनकी यार गांड मारी थी उनकी हाँ मैं भी बीच में शामिल था लेकिन बस क्या करते हैं उन्होंने बहुत बुलाया था बस वो भी इस तरह का बचा था कि उन्हें हाँ उसका आपने पैसे तो दिए थे नहीं पैसे तो हमने नहीं दिए लेकिन और ड्राइवर ने तो दिए थे उनको For Naim 
who himself was raped at the bus terminal. The daily struggle is just to survive. His parents died when he was eight, and he's run away several times since. Naeem leads us to a part of the city notoriously risky for children. This is a very bad place. It's very dangerous. There are a lot of people here. There are a lot of people here. There are a lot of people here. This is a very popular place. Naeem says he's not going to die. Naeem was given drugs by older men on his first nights on the streets. He's now an addict. Pakistan has over a million heroin users, and almost 30% of those who inject the drug are HIV positive. Being so close to the Afghan border means that drugs are plentiful in Peshawar. At night, dealers hang around the main bus terminal. छोटे बच्चे नशे पर लग गए हैं, नशे पर किसने लगाया है? मैंने और और लोगों ने बाई लगा दिया है। जब पैसे नहीं हुए, तो ड्राउरंग के पास पूरा रात गुजारते हैं, गांड देते हैं, चुदाई देने, तो उसके 100-120 रुपए देने, तो उसके ऊपर पोडर पीने। जब आपको कोई छोटा बच्चा पैसा नहीं दे सकता करके हवाले से चेहरा हम को आओ जी एक दफा नहीं तीन दफा हम को छोड़ो लेकिन एक टोकन दे ओना हमारे कुछ बच्चे हैं जी सर जी एक बेटी एक बच्ची एक बेटा एक बेटी है आप को ये ख्याल नहीं आता कि ये मेरे बच्चे जब बड़े होंगे अगर इस तरह नशे नशे ही बन जाते इसका मतलब आपका बच्चा भी करेगा बिल्कुल आरजी तौर पर Aware of the dangers on the streets, social worker Afzal has been trying to get Naeem off drugs for months. आप पर ताकतवर होता जा रहा है आप को नशा नकाम के लिए छोड़ेगा के साथ या अच्छा होता हो या बुरा बाहर आप मुझे बताओगे नाइम हैज प्रॉमिस्ड अफजल ही वोंट टेक एनी मोर ड्रग्स टुडे आफ्टर द मीटिंग ही आस्क्स टू बी ड्रॉप्ड एट अ लोकल सिनेमा टू वॉच अ मूवी अच्छा तुम्हें भी मूवी में आने का शौक है बहुत शौक है मुझे तुम्हारी सबसे पसंदीदा मूवी कौन सी है जो तुमने देखी? मेरा है पखरिया पुआनी ये अच्छा फिल्म उसमें देख रहे जो अच्छा कर रहे वो बच जा रहे जो गलत काम कर रहे तो वो आखरी में मरते There are two cinemas on this street. ओए इसलिए इस शो में मैं जा रहा हूँ उस ये उस में इसलिए नहीं जा रहा हूँ उधर उस में सारा प्राण लगता है प्राण लग रहे तो उसमें सारा लोग मुट मार रहे कभी बच्चे का बुन मार रहे कभी क्या कर रहे तो इस वजह से हम इस इसलिए इसमें इसलिए आया जब इसमें कुछ नहीं हो रहा इस खाली सिगरेट नशे वाले लोग इधर बैठते हैं तो अभी तुम जाओगे तुम कुछ लोगे इनके साथ हाँ मैं उससे कुछ चर्च उससे ले और समर्बान 
He's breaking the promise he made to Afzal. Naim had discovered a way to pay for his growing drug addiction at an early age. To show how open street prostitution is, Naeem invites us to a busy intersection. Over the next 20 minutes, other men try to solicit sex from Naeem. In order to survive, prostitution has become commonplace for many street children. One of Naeem's friends, 12-year-old Saeed, is described as promiscuous by the other boys. <laughs> Social psychologist Roxana Malik has counseled street children for the last seven years. कि जब बच्चा स्ट्रीट पे आता है तो ही माइट नो एक्चुअली कि सेक्स क्या है और जब वो अब्यूज हो रहा है तो शायद वो फर्स्ट टाइम उसके लिए वो स्केरी जरूर होगा बट ग्रेजुअली वो उसका हैबिचुअल हो जाएगा और तो वो फिर रादर के वो कहें कि हाँ अब हम मुफ्त में अपने आप को बेचें अपने मुफ्त में हर एक को अपना आप प्रजेंट करें इट्स बेटर कि हम इसी चीज़ को सॉर्ट ऑफ अपने लिए अर्निंग बना लेते हैं in one study, 1,800 men were interviewed about their feelings towards child sexual abuse. One third of them said they did not consider it to be bad, let alone a crime or a sin. Ghulam Kadri 
Deputy Country Director for the charity Save the Children, says much of the problem stems from the past history of the abusers themselves. The people who indulge in those activities, uh, in many cases, they have history. Uh, many times they, they were abused as a child as well. So this becomes a routine practice in their life. So they don't consider this as a crime. Yet some of the abusers go to desperate lengths to ensure no one finds out. We conducted a study and the horrifying figures were that out of every 10 children who were sexually abused, one was uh, killed. The people who, who commit this crime uh, to protect their identity, they kill the child after the abuse. Many psychologists argue that the attraction to young boys stems from the rigid segregation of the sexes in significant parts of Pakistani society, where women are perceived as the inferior gender, rarely seen in public and with very few rights. A 2014 World Health Organization report places such gender inequality at the very top of causes for child abuse. And a recent World Economic Forum report named Pakistan second worst country in the world when it comes to equal opportunities for women. Ijaz, the bus conductor, has strong views on what he believes a woman's role should be. Islam <laughs> दूसरी <laughs> The thing is that we have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do this. We have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do this. We have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do this. This is also a good thing. Cleric Rahul Amin teaches at the mosque located close to Peshawar's main bus terminal, where much of the abuse takes place. फिर दिर सख पर कि इस्लाम दानों वाले ची यो जिन्स व बल जिन्स पाए द पास वी बल लांडी वी द इस्लाम कतान न बर्दाश्त कई द आकल दम खिलाफ द फितर दम खिलाफ द द कवज़ द ची द जिना हुकम अल्लाह बयान कर दे अगर सर जुगता तो खबरों को करना द दिगुन द गुनाहुनी वाज दाना तासुगुर टुल गुनाहुनु but Roxana Malik claims a culture of sexual denial runs through Pakistani society and that this has led to an increase in abuse. The thing is that we have so much to do that this is something bad. As much as you are frustrated, 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 ultimately, that frustration will be removed from any other way. And this is a wrong way. A 2010 UNICEF report suggests that traditional Pakistani cultural values of purity and protection of women have contributed to men preying on boys. And Ijaz, in his own way, appears to echo that report. <laughs> और 
تھوڑی سی بیکار سا چیز ہے نا کیونکہ وہ شرمندی کی کرنا پڑتا ہے شرمندگی لڑکا تو ہر جگہ پہ لے کر جا سکتے ہو اس کی وجہ سے ان کی کوئی مشکلات اتنا بڑا نہیں ہے آپ نے تقریباً کتنے بچوں کے ساتھ جانا کیا تقریباً ایک وہ تھا اور دس اور گیارہ بارہ تھا ان کی عمریں کیا تھی ست آٹھ سال دس سال تک تھے چھوٹے تھے Laws do exist to protect children, but those trying to help say the authorities ignore them. There is no will of the government to implement those laws to protect our children. Imran Khan, a world-famous sportsman, now turned politician, was shocked by the evidence we presented to him including that some surveys show as many as 90% of street children may have been sexually abused. I must say, I, I know it happened. I didn't realize it happened to the extent you're saying. It's one of the most sad and shameful aspects of our society. I have to say I'm totally embarrassed by this figure. Uh, and unfortunately, well, we've only, my party has only been in government for the last, uh, well, seven and a half months, seven months. And so I've seen the poverty uh, growing in Pakistan, and obviously the children are the, the weakest uh, members of the society and get, get hit the most. But those directly involved say one of the biggest problems is that police on the ground don't attach enough importance to the plight of the children. Law enforcers are hardly listening to all these cries which the, the street child is making. So it's a very grim situation. It's not a very good situation for our children. Often caught up dealing with Taliban attacks, the local police here in Peshawar admit child protection isn't a priority. In the last five years, uh, 700 policemen have been killed in terrorist attacks. The amount of terrorism in this country has grown to, to the point that the security agencies, which are supposed to ensure rule of law, are actually trying to protect themselves. So it's very difficult for them to then go on uh, and, and, and protect children, street children. At the day center in Peshawar, Afzal is becoming increasingly concerned about Naeem. He's discovered that the boy has been harming himself. It becomes clear he's been doing it for some time. It's obvious something is troubling him, and Afsal is worried about Naeem's state of mind. Fearing the worst, he confides in us. We ask Naeem. The abused 
has become the abuser. Afzal fears that Naeem is now reaching crisis point, that he's beginning to show suicidal tendencies. Naeem to kafi arsa se peshawar ke street par reh chuka hai aur ek daily basis par street par bahut zyada abuse hota ja raha hai. Aur yahan uska theek hona mujhe namumkin dikhai deta hai. Afzal believes that Naeem is too psychologically damaged by his life in Peshawar and needs specialist, long-term care. There's nowhere in the city for him to go, no proper government-run facility, and charities are struggling to survive because of lack of funds. So we have decided to social welfare home to shelter. So we started this work in Karachi because there is a boarding system there and we can get protection from the children. He speaks with Naeem, who doesn't want to leave his friends, but realizes this may be the only chance he has. But Karachi is over a thousand kilometers away. And to move him, Afzal needs the agreement of Naeem's older brother, Hazratullah, the same man he ran away from almost a year ago because of beatings. Four days have passed since Afsal first raised the possibility of Naeem moving to Karachi. Thinking he'd been forgotten, the boy had begun to despair and returned to drugs. Naeem isn't aware that the day of decision has arrived. His brother and another relative show up in Afzal's office to meet with the boy face to face. The social worker who will accompany Naeem to Karachi, if everything's agreed, has come as a witness.
ایتا ہما سر نشتا لکا آغو آغو دا سکن کلا ملاقات تڑ کی گی ابجیکشن یا اعتراض نہ نشتا اور نہ تا سو بیا مومن دے مطلب دا چال تا رپورٹ کنونی آغاو کے سیر دا مشومی والے بھی والے لکا مو تا سو پا اجازت منی دا مشوم بھی آئیو جی دا اجازت تا تا سو مدار آجی For Naeem, at last, there's hope. He's on his way to the Drug Rehabilitation Center in Karachi and now has a future to look forward to. I want to marry you, but first I want to make my own way clean. So I want to make my own way clean. اس کو انشاءاللہ تعلیم حاصل کر لوں بہت اچھا تو نیچے سیارہ تھا بہت مزہ کر رہا تھا جب اٹھ گیا تو نیچے کوئی چیز مجھے نہیں دکھا رہا تھا سارا دوم تھا میں تو اتنا خوش تھا کبھی میڈم سے بات کرنا ہے کبھی کس Naeem must spend the first week at his new home, locked behind bars in the withdrawal room, to break the drug habit. He's allowed out for a medical checkup, including an HIV test. What do you want to get in? Looking at Skelet. कोई डॉक्टर का पास नहीं होगा। हम जो मैं बहुत अफसोस हो, जो मैंने गलत काम किया, इस पे मुझे बहुत अफसोस। जो मैंने भी किया, मेरे साथ भी लोगों ने किया। वो सेटेन तो मुझे इतना सोच नहीं था जब अब यार है। A drug-free week has passed. Naeem has been released from the withdrawal room, but he's confined to his new quarters and now says he regrets leaving Peshawar. I can't stay here for one hour. I can दो तीन दिन के लिए इधर ही हम पैर छोड़े इधर तो तीन महीने तीन महीने तो मैं इधर नहीं रह सकता But there's something else troubling him Today he gets the results of his HIV test ओ मैंने मैंने भी गलती लोग का साथ किया लोगों ने मेरा साथ भी किया इस वजह से मैं नहीं बच सकता वो आपको समझो खुशी होगी कि वो बिल्कुल क्लियर है, ठीक है? मुझे बहुत खुश हो गई मेरा कोई बीमारी नहीं है जी मैं सब कुछ छोड़ दूँगी मैं किसी को हाथ भी नहीं लगाऊँगा इसलिए मेरा अंदर अब भी कोई बीमारी नहीं है मैं बड़ा जो बस मैं ऐसे जो बच्चों का हिजमत कर रहा ये जो स्टीट पे होता है
Naeem is just one example. Hundreds of thousands of others are at great risk every day on the streets of Pakistan. Many of those working on behalf of the children have accused Pakistani politicians of turning a blind eye to the plight of those abused. But perhaps, at last, a champion may be emerging on their behalf. It's, re it's really shameful for us that we have not really been able to protect them. So we will have a task force specifically to, to get rid of this, uh, this crime. Uh, I'm going to have a meeting in a week's time and I will bring this on. Um, and it would help if your film comes out because we will use that film and then uh, we'll take action. That action cannot come soon enough. Back in Peshawar, Afzal has received a call. Another little boy has turned up on the streets near the bus station. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 